This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. You've got this. What should your increment be to collect 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar? And remember, increment is that complicated word that we learned in our last section. And really, it's what you go up by. So let me pull this out here. Zoop. In our for loop, for counter from 1 to 10, count by 1. Right now, our increment is 1 because we're going from 1 to 10. But how much am I going up by? Well, I'm going up by 1 each time. But if I make this a 2, I start at 1 still, right? 1, zoop, 1 to 10, okay, but I'm at 1. What do I go up by? Well, now I'm going to go up by 2, so now I'm at 3. This is my increment. It could be 85 if I wanted. This wouldn't actually work. It's just how much you go up by. So it's saying, what will we need to go up by to collect 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 nectar? Well, how many are each of these apart? 3, Let's start with 6 minus 3 is what? 3. Okay, so I'm going up by 3 here. I'm going up by how much? 9 minus 6 is 3, so I must be going up by 3. Oh, look. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3. Okay, so I think our increment then is going to be 3. We're going up by 3 each time. What do we want to count to? Hmm, that's a little dicey because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five flowers but if i put five here i'll start at the number one i'll go for forward this will run i'll then go from one to four it will run again but then suddenly i'm at seven because we'd be adding three each time so that won't get us all the way down here what will though well if we need to move from through five th flowers counting by threes what is five times three let's try 15. So I think we got the base of this now, and you can see how I did it. I'm going through and literally counting and then multiplying out what I need, All right? And just remember, increments sound scary, but what they mean is adding to each time. That's what you're adding to each time. Increment is never the number you, well, it could be the number you start with, but this is what tells you where you start. This is what tells you where you end. This is how much you add each time, or subtract, actually. All right, now, what do we need? Oh, I need some actions move forward. This is supposed to be, so I have six blocks out, and I only ha can have 12 total. Well, I want to move forward, certainly, but then what? I'm not at the flower yet, so I think I'm going to have to turn left. Thankfully, it's in a stair pattern, and that's a pattern that repeats. So if I turn left, let's go ahead and step through for a sec. Oh, good thing I did that, because the great thing about code is you can be wrong a ton. We need to turn right. Yikes. And then I'll go for it again. Uh, uh, then I'll turn left. And I'm going to go ahead and turn left here just to make it repeatable. And so let's see if we can get through all the stairs right now. That will tell us. If we can get all the flowers, we're in good shape. Okay. And good, we stop on that flower. Notice, we might be going up by three. That doesn't impact any of this, right? Counter is equal to one the first round, four the second round, however many. It doesn't matter to this stuff. All right. And just like we've been doing throughout this, what do we want to do now? We want to use a loop. We want to get nectar. How many times do we want to get nectar? Count times. Okay. Now we have a problem though, and it doesn't seem like it because we can walk through it fine. I'll show you. What just happened there? Let's step through. Once. Whoop. 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 Great. What's counter at right now? Well, what did I say? counter starts at one and it's going to go up by three each time but for the first round counter the starting number is one so how much nectar do i get one and then i keep going how much nectar am i going to get here four because i started us off at one so i started us off at the wrong part or the wrong number I want to start at three because the first thing I need to get is three. And then I'm going to count up by three. Keep in mind, again, just because I start at three, this stuff doesn't happen three times, right? This stuff doesn't care what counter is. 
It just needs counter to run enough times so it can move. How many times do I need to move forward? Well, or how many times do I need to turn right? I need to turn right five different times to go down the steps, which is why we made it 15, because 3 times 5 is 15, so I know then I'll get enough right turns in. However, we need to get nectar a different amount of times at each flower, and this is why counter is being used for 3, 2, 15, and counting by 3. Super confusing, I know. If you're not 100% on this yet, go back, watch this again, go do the other exercises again. You really want to be on solid ground with this. It will make coding easier and more fun. All right, let's, uh, oh, let me hit run. Onward.